Imagine if no one cared. On March 20th, 2003, the Coalition of the Willing invaded the sovereign nation of Iraq, a nation that had suffered under years of sanctions and war, a nation that lacked the most basic in dental and medical supplies. Eleven years on, 1.2 million civilian casualties, 5.6 million orphans and counting. Yasser is just one. A crippled healthcare system where the number of patients is constantly increasing and the number of doctors is diminishing. On March 20th, 2003, the world turned a blind eye and a deaf ear to the children of Iraq, labeling them collateral damage. No one cared. The world didn't care. Today, I'm here to take you on a journey with me. I've already forced you outside of your comfort zones, but I make no apology, because I want you to get uncomfortable. As a child, not much older than Fleva, I used to love reading Dr. Seuss, and one line in particular always stuck with me. He said, unless someone like you cares an awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. So today, I want to go through three things with you. Firstly, the power of two words, I care. Secondly, I want to introduce you to a concept called the power of we, how people working together towards a common mission can create change. And thirdly, I want to show you where you fit in, because you don't have to be a doctor. You don't have to be a genius or extraordinary to make change. You just have to care. So what is caring? Is it something that we do? Is it something that we feel? How do we even care? They say that when you've lost your sight, your other senses are heightened. So I want you to try something with me. I'm going to teach you to tap into your most powerful sense. But I need everyone here to please close your eyes. Imagine it's pitch black. You're standing on a platform above an empty tunnel with no one around. You can just hear the faint sound of footsteps in the distance. You know that there's a train coming. You yell out! But your voice gets lost in the darkness. Open your eyes. That lump you feel in your throat, that empty feeling in the pit of your stomach, the flight or fight response, that's your sense of care, your sixth sense. Caring isn't something that we do or learn how to do. It's something built into every human. And I didn't realize this until I met Tabarak. I was doing a university assignment in Dunedin when I came across this video of Tabarak. Tabarak is an orphan who needs surgery but can't afford it. This moved me. This was my dark tunnel moment, standing on a platform, learning about this child. I knew I had to do something, but what? I was just a poor student with a mounting student loan, not even a doctor yet. And if you ask any medical students, they'll have you believe that dentists, they aren't real doctors anyway. <laughs> so what could I possibly do? I was feeling devastated and depressed by a feeling of utter helplessness. How could I help Tabarak? Then I remembered something that my dad taught me. 
that in order to be light, you have to give light. That if someone sees a wrong, he should change it with his hands. And if he cannot, then he should change it with his voice. And if he cannot, then he should hate this wrong in his heart, because beyond that, there is no light. So I did the thing that I knew how to do best. I may not have been able to help Tabarak directly, but I certainly had two hands and a voice. So I sat down in my cold Dunedin flat, and I wrote a cookbook. Yep, it all started with a bake sale and a cookbook. Banquets, Babel and Beyond, in just over a year, sold over 100 copies and raised enough money to provide Tabarak with the life-saving treatment she needed. Tab <laughs> Tabarak had the tumor removed. She underwent chemo and is now in remission because I cared. Two very powerful words. I wasn't a doctor at the time, but I certainly helped save her life. To me, I care stands for Iraqi Children's Aid and Repair Endeavor. But it's so much more than this. It's a calling to tap into our inherent sense of care, to overlook barriers like religion, politics, and race, and to do everything necessary to be a change in another human's life. To care indiscriminately, caring without conditions. It started off with one person, me, and my idea attracted the attention of our country's leader. And soon, that one person became two, and one country became three, as Shahid heads over a team of 100 doctors in Iraq, and Ahmed is leading our army of volunteers in Australia. Different people from different walks of life, all embracing the concept that care can create change. Which brings me to my second point today. An idea called the power of we. This is the understanding that a piece of string will never be as strong as a rope made of many strings. And that in order to care and make change, we need a group of people to work together. You might be an artist that paints art for aid, an athlete who organizes a tournament to raise funds, a student who hosts a bake sale, or a group of climbers volunteering to climb over the Auckland Harbour Bridge. Together, we can create change. The power of we is the idea that if you replace I for we, I care becomes we care, and illness becomes wellness. Creating change, one smile, one child at a time. It's that simple. Because the world really isn't as big as it used to be. New Zealand might be an island or group of islands in the corner of the globe, but we're certainly not isolated. And last year, for the first time, a group of Kiwi-based professionals traveled to Iraq to volunteer their skills, working in orphanages and hospitals. Together, they created change. Which brings me to my third point today, where you fit in. Because caring hasn't been easier. It's never been so easy. You can create change as well. And the world is literally in the palm of your hands. How? Well, our team of dedicated volunteers have been working tirelessly around the clock to make caring accessible to you. And I'm so excited to announce that by the end of the month, the iCare app on the Apple phone, on the iPhone, will be available on the Apple Store. So now you can make a difference simply by moving one finger. You don't have to be a doctor to join us. You can do it from the comfort of your own home. You'll be able to send support and messages of care and wellness to children in Iraq. 
children like Maria. Maria was born with a rare form of spina bifida. This is not an uncommon sight in Iraq. The use of depleted uranium weaponry in the last war has meant that Iraq has one of the highest rate of developmental abnormalities. It seems like in Iraq, Everyone knows someone who has a child like Maria. She is easily the face of Fallujah, a city that's haunted by the highest rate of birth deformities in the world. I Care Sponsor a Smile Project provided Maria's family with the funding to get this child out of Iraq to get the treatment that she needed to save her life. Now, I told you that I'll take you on a journey with me today. And we started off with darkness, but now I wanna show you how caring really does work and how the power of we concept can be put into action. iCare has had the honor of working along so many great people. And last year, we teamed up with a nonprofit organization called the Preemptive Love Coalition, a group of caring heart surgeons who helped us to save the life of Rakaya. Rakaya is a child born with a heart defect. She was born with a broken heart. Now, I told you that caring is the sense you get in the pit of your stomach when there's an injustice, but it is also the sense that makes your heart feel a million times larger when you watch this video of Rakaya. of Kiwis said, I care, and teamed up with the Preemptive Love Coalition, embodying the power of we concept. But this is not the end. Later this year, another group of Kiwi professionals is heading over to Iraq to volunteer their skills, to say, I care. They'll be spending Christmas with children like Rakaya. So, Remember, it takes one person to say I care, a group of people to power them on, and we're just waiting for you to join us. 